In this video, I'm gonna list every step you can take to start a Fiverr business in 10 minutes or less. Think of this video as a checklist for you, a checklist for you to go through, and if you can check off every step of this checklist, you should be in a position where you're ready to get started selling and making money on Fiverr. So step one is to explore Fiverr and figure out what it is you wanna sell. Have you ever heard the saying, we don't know what we don't know? Well, that's true for any of us before we start and learn about something that we've never done before. And this is definitely the case when it comes to starting out on Fiverr. So before you jump into it with both feet, spend some time exploring Fiverr. Get a feel for the site, how it works, and the types of things people are offering for sale on the platform. You should use this time spent exploring the website to try to pinpoint the types of services you might be interested in offering for sale for yourself on the platform. Step two is to make sure that you possess the services that you need in order to deliver the services that you wanna sell on Fiverr. And you can skip this step if you're a freelancer who's coming to freelancing with a skill set that you already are proficient at, either from a full-time job or from freelance projects you've done for people in the past. If, you, if you're in that bucket, you can skip step two. But if you're not, and you're someone who wants to offer a skill set that you've never really done before and you don't have much experience with, it really makes sense to spend some time brushing up your skills and getting your skills to a level where they're ready to be sold to someone for money. Depending on the skill set that you're interested in, there are a ton of YouTube channels with free tutorials where you can learn a ton of different stuff. So if YouTube is a channel that you can use to learn the skill, you should definitely take advantage of free resources. For example, if you're interested in something like copywriting, I have a bunch of free copywriting tutorials on this channel that are totally free and accessible for anyone who wants to use them. And there are a ton of other channels with courses on a ton of different topics that you can check out. If you don't wanna spend the time searching for courses yourself, you can also opt to go the paid learning route using a site like Skillshare. I link to Skillshare in the description of this video. It's a learning platform with courses for a whole bunch of different things. It's a monthly fee, pretty cool option as well. Step three is to create your Fiverr profile. And really quick, before you actually get started setting up your profile, I really recommend you spend some time getting your hands on a decent headshot of yourself. You don't need to hire a professional photographer. You can if you want, but you just need a solid headshot of yourself with a nice plain background, dress business casual or look professional, smile, clear shot of your face. Having a, a professional looking headshot or just a headshot that's just not a screenshot of you at a party or something will go a long way, trust me. So after you've sorted out your headshot, you need to think of a good username. I'm personally a fan of just using first and last name, but you could also use a business name if you're incorporated, or if you want a random name for your Fiverr profile, go for it. I would just recommend it's something that's easy to remember. After you've picked your username, you gotta fill out your profile description, and this is just a little block of text where you tell a little bit more about you and the services you provide. You can also add any relevant skills, certifications, and education that you have on your Fiverr profile, and that's a great way of getting people to notice you and acknowledge you for the skill set that you possess. You can even opt to show Fiverr Learn certifications or badges from Fiverr Learn courses you've taken with the grades you've achieved. Just another way of you know proving to people that you you know you know what you're what you're doing. And just one last thing for your Fiverr profile, always a good thing to list the different languages you know and can speak in a fluent proficiency. This is just a great thing for people to know because Fiverr is a global platform and you might be selling to people from different parts of the world who speak different languages or even people from your part of the world but who would prefer to speak a different language. If you can speak that language and accommodate that, that'll go a long way for your clients. Step four is to create your first gig. So when creating your first gig, there's actually a lot of stuff that goes into creating a really good first gig. And I have a ton of videos on this, but to sum it up, you wanna think of a gig title, like a subject line of your gig that's descriptive and also includes some key words that'll help people find that gig in Fiverr search. After you've thought of a good gig title, you wanna think of a, and create a solid gig thumbnail that's super clickable and also pretty descriptive in the thumbnail. Bonus points if you choose to make a gig video as well. It's a great way uh, for you to kind of do a little bit more selling to people who are browsing your gigs. It's an opportunity for you to upload like a 60 second video of you talking to passers-by, letting them know why they should hire you. It's a great way to get more conversions on your gig. 
So after all that, after you've thought of a thumbnail, you've created it, you've named your gig, um, you've maybe made a gig video, the real money maker of setting up a gig is actually the gig description, in my opinion. That's the place where you have the most room to explain your services, to include a bunch of keywords, and to really sell people on why they should hire you. Step five is to set up three different gig packages. So Fiverr offers the option for you to sell a gig that just has one package, so one thing people can buy, or three different packages. I've found that you know if your gig is suited to this, creating three different packages is a great way to increase the value you're offering to people and also increase the price you're charging those people. So it gives people you know, a way to shop, window shop. They can choose to spend more with you to get more or they can choose to spend less and get less. It's a great way for you to make sure you have a package for every buyer that might be evaluating your services. Step number six is to create an FAQ section for each of your gigs. So Fiverr allows you to add an FAQ section to all of your gigs. This is a great place to answer any questions or to clarify things that you feel might be a little confusing for buyers or, or things that you think would make sense to add some clarification to. Things like how many revisions are included in your pricing. This is a huge one and will save you a ton of headaches down the road. Um, you know, in the vein of revisions, what is a revision? How long is a revision? How much work will you include for free in a revision? Things like that. And just any other clarification on your services, what's included and what's not. Using your FAQ section to include this type of information is super helpful and will save you a ton of headaches down the road. So step seven, this is where the fun starts, is to make some sales. So after you've created your profile and set up your gigs, you might think that your Fiverr business is set up. Well, not really, because it's not really much of a business until you've started making some sales. One way you can make sales, and this is the most basic way, is to just respond to any messages you get on Fiverr and try to sell people your services that way. But if I'm being honest with you, it might take a little while before you get any traction this way because you're brand new and there's a ton of other sellers on Fiverr. So going out there, pounding the pavement, and making some sales yourself is a great way to go about this. I'm gonna create an entire course on how to you know, actually sell your services, but for right now, all I'll say, LinkedIn and LinkedIn Sales Navigator is your friend. Don't be afraid to reach out to potential clients and tell them about your services. That is sales, that is how the world goes around. It shouldn't be any different for you. Step eight is to improve. So once you've gotten to the point where you've had a couple sales rolling in, this isn't the end of your journey. You can't just leave things on autopilot. You should be looking for ways and looking for things you can learn from, from your past client experiences and you know how much business you're getting to try to continually tweak and improve your business. Maybe it's your pricing, maybe it's how you negotiate, maybe it's what you include in your service offering. Maybe it's improving your skill set so you can charge more. Once you start getting sales on Fiverr, it's gonna be a great feeling, but don't give up. There's a lot of runway and a lot of ground for you to cover so that you can keep continuing to make money and continue to grow that business. And step nine, the last step in this video, is to enjoy yourself. By this point, hopefully, you've probably set up your Fiverr business and have started making some sales. That's great but you should really try to enjoy the journey. Try to enjoy the freedom that being a freelancer brings to your life. Tell your friends, be proud of yourself because you're doing something. Anyways, I hope this video was a helpful little motivational boost for all you Fiverr newbies. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I put out multiple videos every week to help you with freelancing, Fiverr, making money online, all that type of stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, cheers.